Disney Springs and we are dining at Frontera Cocina and we are definitely not alone. We have a very large table here with all of our friends. And they will go around and tell you who they are. Hi, I'm Nathan. Hi, my name's Veronica. I'm Des. Me. And I'm here hanging out with these fine folks. And I have He's a wonderful margarita. And Josh skipped me. Oh, I'm Taylor. Oh, I think Hi, I'm Marilyn, and this is all my fault. Norm. 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 This is all her fault. She's Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm a Disney holic. <coughs> oh, this Hi, isn't Matt. a support Hi, group. <laughs> I'm Matt. This is Des, and we're from a guy or girl in a vlog. You can find us on YouTube, a guy and a girl on a vlog, as well as other various social media platforms. My name's Josh. Uh, shameless. Plug. Is it zoomed in really close? So we've all ordered drinks and we have ordered appetizers. They should be on their way soon and then we'll get to order the good stuff. And then we'll get to the steak. The yeah, the steak basically is what we're going to get to. So they have a ribeye tonight as like a special and when he described it, it sounded amazing. However, I still think I'm going to go with the carne asada because I had that here before and it is amazing. This place is so good, you need to come here and try it. So for our appetizer, we got the queso fundido. We got queso chihuahua. I think that's how you say it, I'm not really sure. It's mel melted with roasted poblanos and caramelized onions, and then it comes with warm corn tortillas. Then they also give you red salsa and salsa verde. And we've had this queso fundido before, it's really good. It's like stretchy cheese instead of like dippy cheese. <laughs> so this is a ton of cheese, but it is, uh, it's really, really good. It's a great mix of the uh, caramelized onions with the poblano peppers. It's some type of queso, but it is actually very good. This might throw you off because the cheese is not like super melty and drippy. It's a uh, far more stretchy, and uh, it, it's a little bit different, but it's actually quite good. Cheese is really good. It almost reminds me of like a French onion soup type cheese, with like I think it might be because of the caramelized onions in there, but it's really good. In a tortilla, it would almost be like a cheese quesadilla. You just fold it in half or roll it up or whatever. Really good. I got the carnitas. Uh, so it comes with pork and beans and salsa verde. And I think this is what? Ribeye special. And it comes with mashed potatoes, plantains with creme fraiche, and crispy fried onions. And it also comes with the tortillas to make it look like that's a carne asada, which I think most of us did. I already tasted it, so I know it's really good. <laughs> for my meal, I got the carne asada for making soft tacos. So it's a different version of the other carne asada that you can get. And it's grilled steak, poblana rajas, black beans, refritos with queso fresco, salsa verde, guacamole, and then it's served with their house-made corn tortillas. Basically, if you don't have enough, they'll bring you more corn tortillas if you need them. So, I can't wait to dig in. The seasoning on that steak. Mm, delicious. I put a little bit of the black beans in there with the queso fresco and then some of the salsa verde. This is really good. And it's perfect with the corn tortilla. So I have got the carne asada has a red chili uh, marinade on it. Looks really great. The food smells amazing. This also comes with a side of refried beans, plantains, a of onion, a little bit of cheese, and then the uh, salsa verde salsa. It's really good. I have not ever gotten this before here, so this is new for me, and as you guys know, I'll never get steak. So I've got my steak medium rare. It's cooked perfectly. It has a nice, warm, tender inside, and then uh, it's seasoned perfectly. It's not super salty or over uh, like too much pepper has been added. The marinade is really great. Another thing that you might not know is that this actually is served with soft tortillas. And uh, so I'm going to dive into that. So it's great being able to make your own like, little soft taco, but it's definitely not necessary by any means. The steak is great. The refried beans are great. Uh, I haven't tried the plantains yet, but I love getting plantains here. They're always really good. And this uh, salsa verde sauce. All right, so everybody around the table is pretty much full. So we're gonna do desserts, and we're gonna split them and try them out. I know that the trace light taste is very good. All right, so we are sharing four desserts around the table, and uh, we have the mango sorbet, which is a spicy, tangy, 
Chimo Drizzle? I don't know. We also have a pecan pie bar served with a Mexican vanilla ice cream and uh, chocolate sauce. It's then we also cake? have the Ancho Chili Chocolate Cake, which is a triple layer moist cake. Ancho Chili Chocolate Frosting. And then last but not least, which is my favorite, is the Coconut Lime Lake Chase Cake. It's a sponge cake soaked with uh, four milks, topped with whipped cream, toasted coconut, fresh blackberries, and lime zest. We're going in for the Ancho Chili Chocolate Cake. I like chocolate. Very good. Very rich. The cake is moist. Woo! Ah. And I just got I just got a kick of heat at the back of my throat though. But it is very good. And I was actually afraid that the like ancho chili was gonna be really overpowering and like be too spicy. But you really don't get much of that like heat. You can definitely taste that there's some chili in there once you really let all the flavors sink in and there was definitely some heat there once I started to swallow that cake. Right. It's good though. Honest, or the cinnamon coming through on that. It's like a cinnamon sugar. Right? Josh, well, Josh has got to get in on that accent. There is a really good consistency there. Smoothest of the pie, but then a nice crunchy added touch to that with all the pecans. It's good. And then you get the ice cream on top. And now, I, I, I have to, you gotta I got to weigh in on that now. I don't know, he might be on the fence. He can bar, try slash that. All right, so the toasted coconut is a very prevalent flavor on there, as it should be because, I mean, this is coconut tres leches, which makes sense. It's not as sweet as some of the tres leches I've had before. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, not quite as creamy either. Between the two, since we're, we're comparing now, I gotta go with the pecan. Oh, oh wow. the pecan. And, but it's a close call. I'll say this. So, <laughs> if you want something that's a little bit more rich, I feel like it's a lot heavier, is the pecan bar. But the trace Lake Chase is very light. I don't like whipped cream at all, but the whipped cream topping that they serve on top yeah, of the... pecan is rich. On top of the is light. That's it. sponge that's cake that's that's right right. Is, is phenomenal. And uh, it's just, it's it's very silky and smooth, nice. The coconut, the toasted coconut on top adds another texture to the, to the overall dish. I love it. Here we go. Yeah, it's definitely, it's got a little salty taste into it, but it goes with the flavors. It's sweet and salty. It's better than, oh. I don't even it's get any spicy. sweetness. I get like a lot of salt and a little yeah. bit of spice. That's the tagine. It's definitely different. A nice little bit of salt on there, but it's good. Bye, everybody. Bye. Woo! 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 All right, so we just finished eating at Frontier Casino, which was great. We had a great time uh, hanging out with friends, eating with friends. I think we got some like really good different opinions, which is really nice yeah, too. We don't always too. get a lot of that, which I like to incorporate because I think it's important for you guys to have different opinions. Yeah, and I think a lot of us got the steak there, so I think overall, if you want the carne asada. We all agreed that that was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we did try all the desserts. They were out of one of them, so we got all four. I think it was overall consensus was that everything was good except that mango sorbet was a little weird, the which I was afraid to try. The mango sorbet was very different. Just had like this really weird, like salty, not a spiciness, but there was yeah. a little bit of a, like a warm heat in there, which was different. But yeah. Trace Leches, hands down, is the best. It pairs really well with a cup of coffee, so. Oh my gosh, you didn't get coffee. I didn't get coffee, but that's because if I got coffee, I wouldn't fall asleep later. So, <laughs> Thank you to a guy I grow on a vlog and Merwin and Dad uh, for hanging out with us <laughs> and inviting us to come along. We had a great yes. time. If you haven't already, go ahead and check them out. Uh, they do some Disney stuff, but then they do a lot of like travel, travel and I think maybe a little bit of lifestyle stuff yeah. around uh, back home. They're from New Jersey. so. Have you ever dined here at Frontera Cocina at Disney Springs? Let us know.